we're going to try a realistic heavy cloth barrier for those Fiocchi Covert X. We've got a layer of heavy denim and we have a layer of... Welcome back to the ranch. Today we're going to be testing the Fiocchi Covert X 95 grain 380 through the G42 with its three and one quarter inch barrel. And I'm, I'm filming the intro indoors because we live downstream from the Dakotas, which are downwind from the Rocky Mountains. So west wind, it's about 70 miles an hour. So here's that Fiocchi Covert X. You know the stats on the box, 95 grains, 1,010 feet per second. And we got the three and a quarter inch barrel. And we're gonna shoot gel with, with and without a denim barrier. And we're gonna shoot the chronograph. So let's step out into the hurricane and get her done. Some of the trees still have leaves on them. It's been a mild, mild fall. Wow. <laughs> So windy, it's blowing the crony away. All right, let's get some of those covert X loaded up. Get a good six feet back and see if that extra half inch of barrel is doing anything for that covert X. 954. Review that. High of 961, low of 940. Five shot average, 953 feet per second. That's smoking fast for a 95 grain hollow point. Let's bust out the gel. Fiocchi Covert X. Bear gel, six feet away. I've gone to the left a little bit within the gel column. That stopped at nine inches. Maybe just a bit more than nine. Well, let's get the denim. Now, this is a very dense third melt block. Federal HST would probably penetrate similarly. So maybe Fiocchi's not completely dominant in the standard pressure 380 space. But let's try it with a four layer denim barrier. Oh yeah, caught all, all four layers. And this time we have a round that is captured only in the water jug. So it's gone 15 inches and penetrated the water jug. Let's see if we have expansion. That'd be weird. No, we have a failure. We have a Fiocchi 95 grain covert X that has failed expansion through four layers of heavy denim. That is sad. Let's measure the expansion on the bear gel test. This dimension, I mean 64 caliber. Maybe this way. 65 caliber. That is enormous expansion. So, bear gel, you're getting expansion to 65 caliber, just about 66. And nine inches of penetration in a very tough third belt block. And with four layers of heavy denim, no expansion at all out of the three and a quarter inch barrel of the G42. Okay, for comparison's sake, I'm just gonna shoot uh, Underwood loaded XTP through four layers of denim into the same block. Cause this is a tough third melt block. Four layers of denim, six feet back. Yes! Straight through all four layers of denim. Good expansion. 
here. I'll show you what that's got. I'll flip both blocks over so you can see. That is almost 12 inches. Okay. Here's the... Here's the entry point, very distinct. Moving down to uh, 11 and a half inches. So you can see this is a very tough gel block. I'll pull that out and we'll take a look at it. All right, here's that XTP bullet with that denim on it. And again, not very much expansion. But that's the net expansion. It's a pretty decent 380 plus P bullet. So I think I'll probably continue to feed my G42 this Underwood XTP bullet loaded to plus P pressures. All right, since we did have that failure with the four layer denim barrier, we're gonna try a realistic heavy cloth barrier for those Fioki Covert X, we've got a layer of heavy denim and we have a layer of sweatshirt material and two layers from a t-shirt. And we've re-spliced the gel column. It was 32 degrees overnight. Nothing melted in the cooler as far as I could tell. Plenty of ice left, so. Day two of testing at the ranch this weekend. And we'll get danger close this time, about four feet, to try to get it in low in the block where there's not so much scarring from previous shoots. Yeah, we definitely have expansion on that one. Definitely caught all four layers of that heavy cloth barrier. And let's see how many inches it penetrated the gel. Probably have to look at it from the other direction. Backlight it just a little there. Expansion signature right back here. And crashing through. Again, line that up. To that 11 inch mark. Very nicely done. All right, let's get out the caliper. Good grief. That third melt block is just way too tough. I don't, I don't think I'll use a third. I don't think I'll do three melts anymore. First of all, make sure that's properly zeroed. <laughs> really nice, even expansion. Um, I'll try a couple of different star petals here. Like just about 50 caliber, 4965. Yeah, that's 50 caliber. That's probably pretty ideal for 380.5055. That's about the best, about the best you can do with 380 standard pressure. 4975, yeah, 50 caliber. So good, solid 50 caliber projectile at the end and punching 11 inches deep into that tough third metal gel block. I don't know. I think this Covert X does just about as well out of the 2.75 inch barrel as it does out of the 3.25 inch barrel. But that's okay because I really like to use my G42 for plus P loads of 380 and the Aspens are just golden it's just the ultimate weekend to be up here i love this ammunition definitely recommend it to my uh to my wife and to my mom that carry those little short barrel standard pressure 380s the sig p 238 that i've tested out here before it's just probably worth investing in some plus p ammo if you've got a g42 Thanks, folks. This is Dave at the Discrete Defense Ranch. Have another great week.